Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And welcome to our spoiler discussion review, 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 reaction, and everything else that we're going to be. Moon Knight, episode four. Okay. Holy shit balls. How do we talk about this episode? <laughs> um, the, the name of the episode is? The Tomb. The Tomb. Um, I think the best <laughs> way to do this is break it up into three parts. I want to talk about them in the pyramid on the uncharted Indiana Jones. The mummy. The mummy adventure part. Right. Because that was awesome. Like, yeah. I, I love that part. Yeah. Um, and so they start right from where they finished from the previous episode yep. with Kanchu. Uh, Turn back time. Um <laughs> Or at least move the sky around so they could figure it out. Right. Um, the the discussion they start there. Stephen, Mark, Jake is not awake, and uh, Layla again proves that she is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> she's a badass. She uh, she made sure that they didn't kill Stephen, Mark, Jake, um, nor herself. Nor herself. <laughs> Uh, she has a thing for flares, <laughs> she does. Um, which I think is awesome. Um, but her, I, I, she continues to prove that she is her own. Um, she's not the damsel in distress. She's right. not the love interest. She is her own character um, on her own adventure that happens to be coinciding with the same adventure that Mark is going on and Steven is going on. Right. But but she is fully capable of as a person who happens to be a woman and, and right i mean to like steven is actually the damsel in distress a more couple often of times. than not <laughs> yeah so yeah um them finding the tomb steven and layla flirting steven kissing um uh layla and then Mark punching Stephen in the face <laughs> was everything I wanted. Uh, and then That's they awesome. had a cop that Stephen and Mark had a conversation about. So you kissed her, huh? You know. <laughs> and then I mean, technically, you kissed it's, her. It, I love the line too that she said, "You smell like him." Yeah. And then she pauses and goes, "Well, of course you do." Yeah. Like, like <laughs> the same person. Yeah, yeah. It. I just. It's. It's subtle details like that that I've really been like loving with the interaction with Steven and Mark and Layla. Yeah. Because she is fully aware of the two. Well, she now she didn't start off there, but she's fully aware of the two characters, right. but she's also of, of, of knows of Conchu. Right. Which Steven tells her that, you know, Mark's trying to protect you. So Conchu doesn't take you over. Right. And, right. and she took that very interestingly, like, she expects it to happen or yeah and does i kind of yeah and i kind of thought that um maybe it was the last episode she had said something or yeah. kind of you know did something and i don't remember what it was now but i was like like maybe she wants him to it almost feels like from my from where i sit is sh it's her birthright yeah she feels like like dad a, was the avatar who who yeah. con something happened and Kanchu wasn't able to heal him we know that haro haro um was the a previous mm -hmm. avatar for right. Kanchu. right but i just she it like she almost welcomes the idea, yeah. And, and I think that's, I think that's, that's cool. Yeah. I, I, I like, I like that. That's not. I like that. That's not a. Mark is trying to protect her, but she doesn't feel like she needs his protection. Right. Yeah. When it comes to that particular subject. Yeah. Um. They get in the tomb. They find a. Altar that's being presently used yeah. <laughs> um they get separated mark tries to find a separate exit then um that when what was in the then tomb the one that's full of blood and blood and fresh bones bone, and... fresh bones and stuff um and then one of the 
the guards for the pharaoh, one of the mummy guards, um, comes into the room with the male police officer from the first episode mm -hmm. where Mark, where Stephen gets arrested. Second episode. I'm sorry, second episode. And he's the, the mummy is taking them apart, and they get they've hilarity ensues um and they get separated mark goes one way layla goes another way layla goes on this um uncharted tomb chasing and the mummy chases her down and i love that the fight between the two of them mostly was off screen yeah yeah was there in was the dark <clears throat> there was a bit of a horror film yes. aspect yes. to that like his hand sticking out of the crack and and yeah and grabbing her yeah. like the, the and it was like it was like they came in and only like they cut out like three frames and so it was like very jarring like she was getting sucked in and then mm -hmm. she popped back out and then she was jarred again mm -hmm. and i yeah. love that kind of that kind of shot and so um but she defeats the mummy and throws him into the hole of um the pit of despair uh, <laughs> um with a flare to the eye because she loves her flares right um meanwhile mark steven steven um, finds the tomb and it's Alexander, uh, right. Alexander the Great, right. um, and Alexander is was the they they talked about the eye of or Horus and how each thing is it's each part of it is something and then the long swirl part is the tongue and they said earlier that Alexander was um, Ahmet's. Um, Harold, his her avatar, mm -hmm. and so Stephen, under the push of Mark, opens the tomb. Stephen goes diving right in. I just love that he's like embracing this sort of. Well, he's gagging the whole way. He, but it's, I, not, it's a mummy. It's been dead for like two thousand years. It's, it's all dried weird. up. It's, it's not still weird. It's not wet and gooey anymore. It's still weird. <laughs> um but he reaches in and gets the the statue mm -hmm. of Ahmet. And then while that's all going on, Harrow tells Layla across the pit of despair in the most boss move. I like I love Harrow so much as this villain because he just manipulates people into whatever. Right. Making Layla say it was Mark that killed her dad. Mm -hmm. He didn't come out and say it. He kind of right. led her down the path. Right. Which could, I mean, at this point, could be or not be true. Right? right. He's just manipulating her fears. Right. Like, like, you know, that she probably is afraid that Mark did it. Yeah. Um, or was involved at least or was involved Whatever. and so you know whether or not at this point he actually had anything to do with it he he still hasn't said it he, he in in this episode yes he, at in this, this point at yes at this point yes yes um and i and i really i i i, I continue to appreciate the subtlety that they're using with this villain Thanos was, I will beat you. I'm going to get all these stones. I'm going to beat you. Killmonger was, I'm going to out position you. I'm going to do all this stuff. Same with, with, uh, uh, Zola, um, not Zola, uh, Zemo. Um, I'm going to out position you like, like ev like all of these villains have been this much more physical intimidation. Right. And Harrow is much more mental. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even Zemo's got that kind of swagger to him mm -hmm. and he would pull strings, but it's all pulling strings in the background to get other people to do things for him. This yeah. is different. This is well, Harrow. Zemo killed the guy in the bathtub. I mean, uh, right. That, We're right. He did actually right. physically kill somebody where as Harrow is just, I mean, so far hasn't, himself killed anybody right, right he's just using again using your worst fears especially since he's got that cane you know and the tattoo and stuff he can use just the idea of that to intimidate people into yes. believing or not believing whatever he wants yes to. and he that makes him a great cult leader leader yeah oh, or litter uh great <laughs> cult lit leader and right. and it gets people to do all this stuff like 
come kind of somewhat sacrificing themselves for this mummy guard to yeah. the pharaohs like yeah. he he was using the people as a misdirection so they could get to the tomb to get to the 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 statue right they called it something else and i can't remember what it was called and uh, the i mean the cop wasn't resisting he was awake right, his eyes were right, open he, right, but he right. didn't resist so there was gunfire that before that but again he yeah. wasn't resisting yeah and, and maybe so he, he might have been shot? unconscious or, or shot or something or yeah something. yeah i mean he was conscious because his eyes were open and he yeah. was like looking around when yeah. the guy the mummy, mummy <laughs> guard whatever threw him monster threw him up on the table so yeah but i guess he could have been shot so after the conversation with harrow and layla um and mark gets the statue layla and mark get together in alexander's tomb uh i wish i want that story to be actual really like not not the story, but I actually want that to be real. Like they find Alexander's tomb, lost tomb, and stuff like that. I, I just I think it would be really kind of of cool. I, I, just, I just thought it was a cool addition. Why we haven't been able to find that kind of stuff, right? Right. 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 Like the center of the uh, the pyramids in Giza, there's a void they can't see in that void. It's the boardroom for all the gods. All the gods. Right. Right. <laughs> I, I just love that. Um, but Layla specifically calls to mark yeah and like like shakes steven till mark shows up and mark tells her she asks him if if she, if he did it right and she and he tells a story from his point of view i was a mercenary i led this i had this partner i thought i could trust we get there he kills everybody uh, I tried to stop him from killing your father. He shot me too. Right. And that's I, how I, he got. And that's how he got Conchu. Now, right, he right. didn't say that part, but we know from right. some of the other stuff outside of the show that that Conchu comes to him when he's been shot in well, the and desert. Well, he says something about, I was dead. Yeah. And Conchu, and Conchu came saved to me, me yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, you're assuming that it's the same situation. The so situations. Mark holds the guilt of bringing this partner to where Layla's dad was and led to his death. Right. And then Layla starts to put the things together that the reason that they end up together is because Mark felt guilty. Right. For everything. And so he thought he was trying to make amends by being with her. And then... Kanshu and Moon Knight and all that kind of stuff or whatever right. starts happening. Right. And so so I just like I love that kind of completion of this kind of thing that's been hanging over them. Hasn't come out and directly set up, but there's been that like questioning. They've been like like there was four dead bodies and Mark was there and like like all this stuff. And so them addressing it now at least puts it out there that Mark feels the guilt for it. Mark feels that he is responsible, even if he didn't pull the trigger. Right. Yeah. Which is part of the identity, uh, I, idea, IDI? No. DID. DID. Um, that he has this, he, from when he's younger, which Mul we're going to get into all multiple that. Multiple personality. Uh, multiple personalities. But he's segmenting himself even more now because he's got that guilt as Mark. And Steven is very passive and very right which i mean i don't know anybody with per multiple personalities but just like if you uh um not split uh yeah split is it split yeah w where all of his edward norton's character or not edward norton uh, um, james mcavoy james mcavoy's character characters are all super different yep. right you've got the little kid and the mom uh, and... crazy jane too they t dealt with that in uh doom patrol right in doom patrol that right. her yeah her personalities are all very different so. yeah so i i just i love that they did all that and then harrow shows up with his guys mark goes on a killing spree with the axe from 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 alexander's tomb uh, he gets a couple of guys, and then Harrow finally does something and yeah. shoots Mark twice in the chest. And Mark does the small 
the, the slow mo small slow mo fall into the water behind the tomb, right? And then sinks into um, the to, light. Into the light sinks in, yeah. Um, and the screen goes black, except for the light. Except for the light, and then the light changes into this. 50s 60s feeling adventure serial uh doctor uh, i cannot remember david some i can't no remember. it's steven his name is steven grant oh steven grant yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yes yeah That's steven right. grant um dr steven grant um on this adventure but it's it's for three ratio aspect ratio mm -hmm. so yep. it changes the way so you're like what what just happened? Like <laughs> right. the main characters got shot by the villain in the right. fourth episode, and now we're on this uh, uh, tongue in no, not tongue in cheek, like campy yeah. serial episode, yeah. and the t like the TV changed, and you're like, what is going on? And then it pans back, and it's like this mental institution. Everything is whites and light grays. There's all these different people there and Or is it the afterlife? Or is it the afterlife? And in like your brain is still processing. We were in an Egyptian tomb, like <laughs> with Alexander the Great. And and Haro, Haro, um it won, except I kept saying Mark's got the the statue. Yeah. Yeah. So is this like, is this the conversation that we have that Ahmet tries to bargain with Mark to be the avatar? Yeah. And so this is her way of doing that? Except, no, no, no. It's like this full-on... It's an episode of Legion. It's a... It's totally an... I was going to say One <laughs> Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, but it, it's... Yeah. Yeah. It's... We went from the, the mummy to tomb raider whatever to an episode of legion yeah also marvel also marvel um and and you start to question because everything that's going on everybody that's in that room the main area is people from harrow's group harrow's group well it's the police officer. It's, yeah, it's but the, the um, but Layla's there, and right. Stephen Grant is the guy on the TV. So now you're like, well, did he just was this some before he actually gets into Harrow's office? You're thinking, is this just he's in a mental institution and he pulled this name off the TV and now he's living this fantasy and Layla's there and and Harrow's people like you said the cop is there and it, and as the guard as, which makes sense right that that the <laughs> cop would be the guard in the in the mental institution and and the questioning i, I everything is i you are now forced to question question everything you've watched in the last three and three quarters episodes yeah was this all just a little play going on in and, crazy mark's mind and i would say Yes, except for all the time that we spent with other characters outside of Mark and Stephen. The time we spent with Harold, the time we spent with Layla, the time we spent like like it it if it was if Mark or Stephen was always in the scenes and it would we were kind of the third party watching everything that was going on, then I would definitely be there. Like like when I first started trying to put it all together, like if this is actually just a version of Legion where you're not really sure what's real and what's not, I'm like, we've we've had whole scenes where Layla was in a scene with Harrow by herself. Yeah, Mark Mark or Stephen was not there, and Jake wasn't there. Right, and so that has to be real, and this is something else. Maybe that's that's where I'm at. It could all just be. Uh, a, a movie going on in Mark's head. In Mark's head. Uh, which I'm also okay with. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's what it is, though. I don't think it is. I think it's, I think it's closer to, I think it's closer to me than, than, than the, just the movie thing, right? I just think it's, it just feels like this is much more of on the journey to, to be judged by in the afterlife. 
And the reason I say that is because after we got done with the episode, um, Mark finally gets sober, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah. And Harrow kind of keeps questioning it. As they pan, pan through the room, you start to realize that Mark's pr starting to put together a lot of different things from his memories that are like laying around the room. Yeah. And he breaks out of the room and the security goes after him and he goes into one room to hide and there's a sarcophagus in there. He opens up the sarcophagus and it's it's Steven. Great hugging moment. Like they actually care for each other, which is awesome. Mark says, follow me. They go down the hallway, but the hallway is swaying yeah. and the lamps are swaying and the camera makes a point of swaying too, which is very interesting. They find another sarcophagus that's somebody trying to break out. I think it's probably Jake. I, I was like, aren't you going to let the third guy know? But they okay. don't, the two of them don't know Jake's there yet. Right. But yeah, like why would Mark open one sarcophagus and not the other one? Right, right. Because it wasn't Mark who looked at the sarcophagus. It was Stephen. Stephen's in the blue shirt. Mark's in the gray shirt. Stephen so, was in the sarcophagus. In the first sarcophagus. Yeah. But the second one, Mark goes past the door. Stephen's the one that stops to look at the sarcophagus. That's oh, rattling. I thought they both saw it. No, it it, it was Stephen that had, did the stop to look at it. And Mark okay. was still going on down the hall. Okay. So that would make sense why Stephen wouldn't open it. Right. If he's, if he's the passive one, right? He doesn't want to jump into anything if he doesn't right. want to. Yeah. yeah. So, and then they open a door and there's a hippo there. Uh, goddess Thwat? No. Tarot. Tarot. Um, which in Egyptian culture is the goddess of fertility and childbirth, but she's also rebirth of death, uh, rebirth from death. And she's this big old hippo. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> and, and Stephen and Mark scream and the episode ends. So the epis, the ins mental institution stuff is the from the Jeff Lemire um, run of Moon Knight. Uh, we talked about this in a couple episodes ago that that there's been multiple versions of Moon Knight and how we got there and and backstory and stuff like that. Very Batman-y kind of when it comes to different versions of the same story. Right. And Lemire's run essentially was about Mark, Stephen, and Jake coming to an agreement working the three of them working together with Khonshu as Moon Knight as Mr. Knight to um to coexist and to be the best version of themselves right because obviously I mean at least from Mark and Steven they have very different uh skill sets yes and so you would assume Jake also has a different skill set so you put them all together and he's a badass yes and uh from what i've from what i've read jake is like the the gumshoe of the group right like okay. he's the one who's kind of is able to get the information and kind of do stuff and and everything uh so you have you have this backstory of the did and it feels like the next episode is going to be even weirder than this one maybe not a dance routine like we got in legion kind of thing but the idea of if they're on the boat to go be judged for worthiness in the afterlife uh and uh what do we say the goddess of tarot 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 um tarot. is a friend with Kanchu and it wants to help mark come back to life and then Mark can and Steven and Jake can go free Khonshu and actually stop Harrow from actually getting um, Ahmet in, into the real world. So it, that that's kind of what it feels like for me. But again, like we she said earlier, maybe, you know, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I didn't expect them to have like I I was having this fun Tomb Raider right. adventure, you know, Indiana Jones adventure, whatever. And then they turned it into Le and we're going to keep going back to Legion until <laughs> That's they. That's what I thought as soon as. Yeah. Like it's this is an episode of Legion, and uh, I also now I I get it right. We've we've talked about this before that all of at least the Marvel 
TV shows have had some sort of underlying um, topic, right? So right. this one is mental health. Yes, yes. This is definitely um, mental health and coming to grips with your mental health. Yeah. Uh, and I, and, and that's, that's two different things. Understanding that you have a problem that you need help and then being able to implement that help. And I feel like at the end of this, if that's where they're going with the story, that's the, going to be the final, like the three of us are working together with Kanchu. Like that's right. Uh, well, they've got to, we've got to find out why Stephen, Mark, Jake happened. Right. So I think that's probably where this is going. And then that, Again, that's the mental health just conversation about, you know, things that happened to you in your past, forming who you are today mm -hmm. and how you deal with that, live with that. Um, and I, I really think that they're going to do some kind of flashback scenes talking about him being raised Jewish, the trauma that happened to form this DID that he has. Mm -hmm is going to be a big part of the next episode. And then I feel like maybe the end of the episode is he's found, he's found worthy for the afterlife for wanting to do the right thing, but he's not necessarily welcome into the good part of the afterlife, but and he also I isn't put into hell or whatever. I think they're hell. going to use him as their, I think that the gods don't want Harrow to to win to succeed yeah and so they're going to make Stephen Mark Jake Moon Knight um I mean he's an avatar but kind of you're gonna go out in the world and do our bidding <laughs> and then for the great for the greater good for the greater good yeah they're yeah. gonna kind of make them you know they'll will release Kanchu, you know, and, but you have to go out into the world and, and fight the bad guys for the good guys. I, 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 I forgot about this part, but as you were talking, I'm reminded of the opening scene when Horace's avatar was putting Kanchu on the shelf and mm -hmm. there was multiple gods trapped in statues mm -hmm. in this, display case right and and i was thinking to myself pun intended who died and made you god right, right right i get it you're a god and there were what five or six of them in the little um circle mm -hmm, together mm -hmm. that decided that conchu was gonna go into the statue statue so why are these six worthy to make Right. that decision about these right. other right. gods or demigods or whatever and that might play into it too i think there's a little bit too of they're going to realize that harrow maybe didn't lie to them he didn't necessarily lie to them in that that confab they have last last episode but the idea of them coming to the realization that ahmet is is soon to be released is released mm -hmm. or something like that they're going to have to do something to reverse that and their strongest weapon is Kanchu, who's on the shelf with the other ones yeah. which yeah. i'm the first thing i said was who thinks it's a good idea to pull these prison guard or uh, prison gods into the same room together right and they're pissed and they're pissed they're gonna if one gets out or two gets out it's gonna be a melee of yeah. everything yeah. and and that, that that's... well and who's to say that those gods are bad right, right except those five or six who decided that right? right so it could be that the ones who made that decision are actually the bad guys or the bad guys and daddy's mommy's not uh happy. anubis anubis might be the one <laughs> who's like you guys have just been not been paying attention. Yeah, like, and so they put yeah. all of Mark, Jake, Stephen, Conchu together, bring him back, and Layla becomes the... uh, an avatar for somebody. Maybe. This back to the conversation we we're having earlier, where she was 
not opposed to Kanchu taking over. Right. right? So and she so could be an avatar, avatar for one of the good guys. One of the other gods or the hippo. Tarawit. Tarawit. Um, so, yeah. So just like I, a lot of people all day have been talking about how good this episode was. Um, I was not prepared for what they did <laughs> um, at all. And um, of all the Marvel shows that I can think of to this point, this is the first time where they've completely changed the show halfway through the run. They Loki changes, but it's in the last 15, 20 minutes yeah. when he remains dies. Spoiler for Loki. If you're watching this, you've watched Loki. And and again, the same with Falcon and Winter Soldier. There wasn't a twist or a change or whatever. Um, WandaVision, again, wasn't a twist or a change. It was the process in which that she was coping and learning and stuff. Right. And and I mean. Again, Hawkeye wasn't a twist. We knew Agatha wasn't. I, the good, the, a good guy. We didn't right. know, but there was a lot of yes. heavy speculation yes. that Agatha was not. Yes. But you don't, you're not, you're not physically changing the show, stopping on a dime, turning, turning it around <laughs> into something completely something different. different. Yeah, and and uh, and I'm okay with it. Like, not I don't want this to happen in every show, but for what they're trying to talk about with mental illness and yeah. mental issues yeah. and DID and all that stuff your life changes on a dime like that all yeah. the time when yeah. you're having to deal with that stuff. And so them doing it in the show makes complete sense. It's now that we realize what this show is about. Right. And so now I'm like, I'm like popcorn, 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 <laughs> popcorn. Let me go. Before we just thought it was a fun Indiana Jones, the mummy adventure with, with a, with a supernatural Super natural yeah. Yeah. yeah entity or several supernatural and supernatural entities but um yeah now it's I, and one maybe. thing i'm going to say about like kind of the conversation that we've been having the last couple of weeks where i thought like ghost Rider or blade or somebody else was going to show up in this show i i don't think that anymore now with this switch it's and and what Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke have both said it's it's separate from the MCU. It's not going to be separate. It's 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 laying the groundwork for something else in the in the MCU. Right, but yeah. it's not directly connected. It's its own stand free freestanding thing. Unlike WandaVision, Loki, what everything else that has come before it, it's all tied into stuff that happened before. This is its first. This is the first of the Marvel shows that it's been its own thing, not attached to anything that's happened before. Well, it's a new, it's a brand new it's character. It's a new character, but it's also setting up the supernatural. It's our, us accepting the supernatural mm -hmm. as viewers, which is much of what they did with the multiverse with What If, and then with Spider-Man, and yep. now with the multiverse of yep. madness. And they've kind of been easing us into these ideas of mm -hmm. different concepts that it happens within the comics. And this is the, this is the next step in all of that. I stuff. could still see them doing a mid credit thing on yeah, the oh, very yeah. last step. Yeah, yeah. But I've been, I've been talking about, uh, and Elena showing up, yeah. a Kingpin showing yeah. up, yeah. um, you know, another Loki, like I've been talking about that kind of concept happening with the supernatural characters from mm -hmm. Marvel. I no longer think that's going to happen unless it's a post credit scene where Blade shows up and, and Black Knight's there and, yeah. and they're like, Hey, hey uh, we've, we, we got a problem. We've Come heard this guy us. about this guy named Reyes in LA who needs help. <laughs> and so I, I just, I just, yeah. I like that idea. So that's where I'm at. Um, I just wanted to clear that up because I've been kind of on that Ghost Rider is going to show up and it just doesn't, now it doesn't make any Mephisto sense. Is Mephisto is going to show up. It was Mephisto up. the whole time. So let us know. Mephisto is the big, never mind. Um, let us know what you thought of this reaction discussion in 20, geez, 35 minutes of uh, <laughs> talking about it. Let us, I know we didn't cover everything. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Please be nice. Like this video. That's a requirement around here. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Follow us on all the social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Whew, links are in the description down below. I need about 40 more hours with this episode. <laughs> and until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night now.